Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mods 9. So, um, I just did this a second ago to get Stellarite pieces, because I need those. I still haven't I still haven't put the things on here. Um, but I thought this was quite funny. So I, I I've been doing it in this uh this like little water area because it does do an explosion when you uh when you mine these what they call uh Stella Arcanum. Uh, but I thought it was quite funny because I'm vein mining 64 right here, right? <laughs> Look how far it sends me up. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, oh no! Did it just delete all of the Stella? Oh, you know what? That's fine. Okay. Well, well you got Stella right pieces anyway. I just did 64 a second ago. But then the, the clear lag thing we've got just deleted the ones that I just made. Oh well. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Copium right now. Anyway. Let me stick those in there. So this should pull and then push over to this. And then perfect. Right. I need to make 14 plus 4 because thank you to whoever it was. I think it was Gothboy in the in the chat, but uh chalk in the comments, not not the chat. I don't know where I got chat from. Yeah, I need to uh, I'll also put a stellar eterna on all of these chalk. So uh yeah, now all I really need to do is just put like a bunch of diamonds. By the way, all of my diamonds recently have just been coming from bees. So there's quite a lot of a lot of um a lot of bees right there. I do have to do this manually and I also need to uh get a bunch of blood in this, so I do need to turn this on. Uh okay, redstone mode low, that would do it, right? Are you gonna do it? So I just broke my forge. And apparently that just turns it back into the regular forge. For some reason, um, I just turned on, you know, the uh, the chickens. And I've got my sword over here doing like an area effect. And it just goes like, and it just knocks out all of them around here. Got sweeping edge and everything, right? Um, and it's got the, wait, I could show you. Looting, sweeping edge, sharpness. And it's got knowledge of ages, which converts all of the drops into experience. So I don't get spammed with like a bunch of, um, you know, like eggs, uh, not eggs, chicken and feathers and stuff, right? Uh, and then I logged out because I had to go do something really quickly. And then when I came back in, this was on a minus number. This was like minus 2,000 and something or minus 200,000 and something. I don't know, something like that. So I was like, okay, that's wrong. So I broke it, picked it up, and then it just converted it back into this, which I'm really sad about now. Although the Oriole is going back up because uh, we do have automated Oriole with this uh, crystal obelisk. So I need to go back through the entire process of upgrading all of this, which is not going to be that fun, I must admit. So we've got to get some arcane crystals, spawn a scrap, some of these ingots, more arcane crystals. We oh, we need some... Uh, Eldwood planks. Oh my goodness, we have to do like a bunch of stuff. I forgot about all of this. I need to. I want to get it up to this this stage. Fine, I can do all of that. I think I've got everything other than maybe runes. Let's have a look. Rune. Okay, at forbidden. Oh, okay. Well, at least I've got some. Hardwood logs. I have no idea how to get these, if I'm honest. Uh, apparently, you find them in the dark woods, you know, where you find um, dark oak and all of that. You find them just splattered about. So, yeah. Anyway, I, I need one of these, apparently. I also need... I'm just going to make, I don't know, 32 of this. Uh, I know I need some of these for later. I need some skulk. Something, what was it? Skull Catalyst. Uh, I should bookmark. Where is it? Forge. Okay, yeah, I should definitely bookmark this. Uh, in fact, I'll bookmark the last one, even though you can't really get to the last one without doing the rest of them. But this is 500 Oriole, 10 souls, blood, no experience. I don't think any of these take experience, do they? No. Okie dokie. What are the other things you can do with this? And why is there experience? Because I've never seen experience used for anything, if I'm honest. No experience there. You can make a Stellarite B. Uh, what does the Stellarite B give you? 
Okay, we'll have a look at that in a sec. No, none of them. None of these apparently give you, uh, well, allow you to use uh, experience. You don't need experience for anything. It's good to know. I did put a bunch of experience in here before, but as I said, we don't really need it. Anyway, I'm going to try this again. So if I spawn in a bunch of chickens and turn this back on. Okay, it does. It does make it go back up. That's pretty good. Okay, we got up to 8,000. Okay, it just, just ticked over. So, turn that off. Turn that off. No chickens left? No chickens left. Lovely. Right, that is full up. I thought it got stuck at one point because it just wasn't going up, but that's fine. We do need to get souls. Oh, I forgot about souls. I know a load of people have um, tried to make, like, what was it, a soul extractor? This thing. They tried to make it so you can, like, if you use the soul extractor on some soul sand, it then replaces the soul sand and do all of that sort of stuff, but no one's really, I don't think anyone's found a good way of doing the soul extractor. Maybe they have. I haven't looked in a while. To be fair. Oh, thank you to whoever just slept. It was awesome. Right. Uh, what was I doing? I was getting... I got any Stellar Returner. That, that is a point. No, I don't. Poop. Fine. Um. Yeah, we need some Soul Sand. I think I'll probably do this manually for now. And manually as in I will right-click for a bit. So I need some modular routers. I'm just going to use two of these. One and two. And then a breaker. Breaker module? Why not got a breaker module going right now? I don't really want to use a netherite pick because we don't need it, right? So pickaxe. We just got a regular. Let's use a wooden one. Nope. Yeah, that will work. That is a quarrying one, though. Can I? Uh, you know what? I'll stop being lazy and I'll actually just make a pickaxe. There we go. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. There's a bee for this now. When did they add this? I'm not complaining. This is flipping awesome. We're definitely doing this. It looks like you get a 1% chance of getting a Stellar Eterna. But you always get the Stellarite comb back. So what you could do is if you get 100 combs and you get something that processes all 100 combs, you don't need the B after that, do you? So, okay. And that's just like one, one production from the Omega. Like if you have four Omegas, it will give you like 40 of the uh, comb blocks. So that's way more than you need. Okay, screw it. We're going to do this. We're going to make this be. Only issue is, I believe, if we have a look at this, we do. Uh, 1,000, you need one soul. and you. Okay, we could do this. No, we don't. We need the tier three. Fine. So we need this one and then this one, and that's it. Don't need anything else. Got ya. I should have some spawner scrap. Spawner scrap. Yep, got some of those. So. Oh, the issue I've got now is these, because if we have a look again at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah, we need eight of these, and I've got these uh, these arcane crystals in the way, so I do need to make some more darkstone pedestals. Oh, unless I still got them, because I did, did I convert them? Darkstone pedestals, I still got them. Amazing. Now, if I break these, how do these break? Okay, they they pick up like the the obelisks themselves. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. Nice. Right. I I should have checked if I do I have enough Oriole to upgrade. Never mind, I do not. Let's put these back down because we just need to leave these for a while, and they will generate some Oriole for us. I should start going back up. We need 500, I believe. Is that right? 500. And then we need 1,000 after that. And then we're good. We don't have to go higher than this one. I do know that uh, there's like two higher than that, but I can't be asked if I'm honest. 
and they require like a lot of stuff. Cannot be asked to make these skulk catalysts. In fact, oh, you can get them from the warden kills. Okay, that's not too bad then. Catalyst. Okay, I've got a load of them. All good. Right, there we go. So if I place this one in here, it will place like that. And then I just do one of those. And then it will give us a soul. That will mine it up. And it will mine it up into there. And then I just hold it down, basically. So... Obviously, I don't want to use this all the way up because I think you can actually put a Stellar Returner on this. So I will be doing that as soon as I get my ability to make Stellar Returners back, if you know what I mean. So how many do I need for this? I think I only need one soul, don't I? There you go, five. That'll do it for now. Um, uh, that's not what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at this. So you need... Oh, never mind, you need, is that souls? Yeah, you need 10 souls to upgrade, and then we need 50 souls after that. So, yeah, we need 60 altogether. So we've got 5, so we need 55, 55 more. Right, I've got a little board. Um, So i got enough of the uh, the souls now for the first upgrade, and we just ticked over. I didn't plan that or anything, we just ticked over right there. So now what we do is we pick these up. Like that. Pick that one up. Pick that one up. And we pick that one up. Noise. And then we can just place these back down as they were. And then the last thing we do is, I believe it's four of these. One, two, three, and four. And then it's four of these. One, two, three, four. Like this. Four. There we go. And then, uh, what goes in the middle? That is the question. Ah. This thing like that. And then... This has got zero uses remaining. Okay, okay. So, I can stick that one away. Uh, that one's got seven uses. So we could at least use this one for now. I think... We right-click. I might try and figure out if I could... Oh, yeah, we can use time in the bottle on this, can't can't we? But to be fair, we, we aren't going to be using this after we've got the B. I think once we've got the Stellarite B, job done. I should probably go work on making the B now, but meh. We do have um, Diamond Bs already, Max Stats Diamond Bs, so we can just do that. Take the two of them out, breed them together. Easy peasy. Oh my god, this takes a while. I thought It might take a little bit longer because we're on a server as well. But if I put a bit of time in the bottle on there, I've used, wow, that was dramatic. I've used like quite a lot of um, time in the bottle recently, by the looks of it. Anyway, we're going to remove these for now. I'll probably remove these and then go make the B. And then we'll come back and I'll make the rest of the, um, what are they? That's the souls. Yeah, because we need the souls for this. You know what I could do? I could make another, like, four of these, replace these uh, these pedestals with it as well. Because we aren't going to be using them, like, at all, are we? How do we make these pedestals? I've forgotten. Uh, ped. I don't know how you spell it. Oh, no, these are obelisks. The Tormentor. Uh, wait, how do you make the corrupt ones? It might say in the book. I could not find the book. But I did find uh, where I did this originally in one of my videos. So we just do this. And then we need one of these dust. And there we go. Uh, we still have the pedestal as well. So we can put that down later. But for now, I don't know if I could just put like a bunch of these down. Weird. Anyway, uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a bunch. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So we're going to make six of these. This one should be relatively easy to make. Yep. Beautiful. And then, uh, oh, I can put this away for now. And then I'm just going to get rid of these pedestals. And as I said, we can always replace them later. One, two, three. Well, oh, I need to make some of that dust as well. 
math always makes four, so we're all good. So whilst that is doing that, and we're all good, I think. And then we grab this. Beautiful. And this should be going up a little quicker, I hope. I don't know, doesn't say, but yeah, whilst that's doing that, I should also probably turn this on. Um, I could technically, I could do with this being on like, oh, hello. I could do with this being on a like wireless. So if I turn this one on, it turns that one on as well. But meh, for now, just do one of those and that'll fill that up with blood. I suppose what I could do, I could stand here and just do this. That is, a, that is it's causing quite a bit of lag though. It's a bit annoying. Flipping heck, I'm only recording this at like 4.30? No, it's not even 4.30 yet, it's 4.15 on a Saturday. And it's already dark in the UK. How crazy is that? <laughs> why, why are you so dark out? So annoying. We just bought our dog a, um, it's not glow in the dark, it's got like um, an LED strip on the uh, on the collar. So when we go for walks at night, uh, she can, well, we can see her if she tries to run off. Right, I think I've got everything in place. I just realized that there's quests for this. I think this got added recently. I did see like a bunch of quests were added in the latest update. Uh, we are on 20, I think it's just 20. So 0 0.2.20, or is it 21? I can't remember which one we went to, but I feel like everything's running a little smoother, which is quite nice, especially for servers, right? Uh, right, anyway, what have we got in here? We've got 50 souls, we've got like a bunch of blood in there. Uh, oh, no, let's put that one, turn that one off. I think that's trying to attack me, which is why it's making that sound. Anyway, uh, we got some Oriole, so now I just need to... Yeah, let me get rid of each one of these and I'll put the uh, pedestals back down and then we just need to upgrade one more time and then from there we just make the B and we never have to come back here again. How cool is that? I do need to make a diamond B to be fair. Just thinking about it. That's fine. We can do that in a sec. Right. So if we stick this one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then what What do we need uh, for this one? 50 souls, 9,000 blood, and yeah, Oriole is fine. So we need these ones, these ones, and the polish goes in the middle, like this. And then, what was it? It was this and this. Two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And now, Take this, and is it just right click? Oh yeah, you just right click it, okay. And I'm just gonna make that really, really quick. So I've, like, I can't believe I looked away when that happened. Anyway, what I was gonna say is, um, the time in the bottle, I, I'm one of those people that in video games where you pick up like a health potion and you're on low health, but you like leave it and you don't use it until later on and then you end up just not using it at all the entire game, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I, I'm trying to get out of that a little bit. And by that, I mean, I'm trying to use my time in the bottle where I can. So anyway, that's been upgraded. And now what do we need for the Stellar Eternal B? We've got that. We can get that like right now. And didn't I have some blood in there already? Oh, we've got it. Oh my God. We can do this straight away. And ding, there we go. We stick this one in like that. Perfect, right, I'm gonna go get a diamond bee. Uh, I might make a little chest. Oh, you know what, we can just do it. Do it right now. So, B, uh, let's one, two, yep, these two, perfect. And then all I need to do is go down here. Now, where are my diamond bees? Here they are. Try and grab them before they get picked up by the modularator. Perfect. 
So I've got two diamond bees. And where's my breeder? Did I take my... I think I, I broke my breeder on purpose. Oh no, no, never mind. It's right here. I thought I, thought I broke it on purpose because uh, we didn't want to use... Yeah, we didn't want to use it. Anyway. Does this use ticks when it's not being used? I'm not sure. Anyway, right. Let's get some... Is it flowers that we need for this? I assume so. I'm just going to use wildflowers if I can. Yeah, there we go. And time in the bottle. Thank you very much. And that should, when they're done, go over here. Perfect. Mother and father can go back into uh, here again. Again, I don't want to put them both in, uh, like, stacked on top of each other because there was that, that bug at one point. So, there we go. Those are gone in there. And now... I did remember, by the way. Oh, why, why are you not working now? Oh yeah, I forgot the button doesn't, we don't really need the button, do we? We just do that. Is that how that works? Yeah, anyway, I need to do this a few times. We get a load of squish bee material. In fact, we've already got enough right there. Uh, and then I just need to wait for all of these to filter into here, and then we'll get like a bunch of diamond bees out of this. Right, there we go. We got ourselves a honey treat for the bees. Stick that in there. Egg. We've done this about a billion times now, haven't we, in this series? So I'm not going to go over it too much. Wow, that was uh, lagged. There you go. And it's done. And there is our diamond bee. There we go. Right, stick this one in like that. Get the gavel and right click. I didn't put any of the stuff on. Amazing. Right. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it manually because why not? So, one of these. One of those. And then one of those. One of those. Now I can do it, right? What am I missing? Let's have a look. Diamond B, we've got that. Oh, we need like a bunch of Stellarite pieces. That is fine, we could do that. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Eh. There we go, that's gonna do it. Lovely, right, we also need to use the rest of the Stellarite that we got, I reckon, and uh, we just make a block out of it, don't we? Yeah, this stuff looks really nice, to be fair. I actually quite like the look of this block. I don't know what it is. It's like the the greeny grey. Reminds me of the army for some reason. This sort of colour. Anyway, right, what are we doing? Waiting for this to be finished, and then I'll go put this down with some Omega upgrades. Right, there we go. We got ourselves the Stellarite B right there. And for now, what I'm going to do is... I yeah, what I'm going to do for now is I, I'm just going to set this back to how it was previously. So... People on the server don't don't see it just yet. Cause it'd be cool if they could see it in the video. If you know what I mean, right? There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll put this. I'll put this back in as well. There we go. Right. I am probably. You know what? We only need like a few combs, don't we? So has this got Omega upgrades in it? It does. I'm now wondering, do I just use this one? No, because we need the oil. Yeah, we do need the oil. Okay, we'll leave it then. Uh, maybe I'll do another one over here. No, 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 I want to do it with the bees. Uh, we've got like a an empty one, I think, somewhere around here. Uh, this one's not empty. This one here. Yeah, there we go. And I just need a bee cage. Oh, I've got a couple of bees in here. Palladium and Europium. Interesting. Might need that later, but for now. Better right B. You can stick that in here. Treat. And yeah, we need high, metaternal, any. Perfect. 
Oh, I do love a bit of bees. I don't know why. It's one of those things that... Like, I, I have a, a had. I, I'm not not really against it anymore, but I was really against mystical agriculture for the longest time. And to be fair, I've always maintained that the reason I didn't like mystical is because it was in, like, every pack. But now bees is in every pack, and I still love bees, so it must be something else, right? I must be thinking something else when it comes to mystical. I don't know why I don't like mystical that much. Who knows? Anyway. Right, this Stellarite bee has got all the bits that we need, so all we need to do is stick that in here. And the weirdness about this one, especially as we're just going to spam this so we can get as many of these as we can. The weirdness about this is I think that's the only amount of combs that we need right there. Like, this is, this is also good, but we only need a few combs from here. Ah, oh, you know what? I will set this up, so... No, you know what? I'm not going to set this up. Unless this doesn't do what I think it does. We got... We got any room for this, this stuff? Aha. Uh -huh. Never mind. Why does it say that it gives you um, Stellar Returners? Oh, because there's a 1% chance that it gives you Stellar Returner. And it gives you it back. Aha, I get what, you do, what you're saying right now. No, what? 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 <laughs> what? Stella Eterna. Stella right B. Stella right. I'm confused. Chance 100% to get that back. Oh. 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 Oh, I get you. I get you. I looked at that completely wrong. There's a chance that within here we will get... Ah, okay. That's fine then. So we do need this. Uh, where is it? I need this, this, and I need a draw for each of these. Right, here we go. Uh, I just need to lock these two. Stick that one on there, stick that one on there. And then this should all just start filtering back through. Like all of this stuff. Sculpt. Okay, so it's these ones that need to do it. There we go. That one's starting to work again. This one's starting to work. Uh, you know what? I could start trying to stick these in like that. There we go. Get rid of the combs. Now, the only issue we've got now <laughs> is that we do need to tell this not to send a Stellar Returner up there. So that pulls this one. Sends. We need to tell it to not send. Stella Eternal, or Eternal Stella. I always get those two mixed up. And then we just need a another draw. So I'm just going to use. I'll just use note draw. Why not? And we need a sender. We need it to just send Eternal Stellas, right? I don't really want to auto craft the Stellar Returners because they're kind of a bum, kind of a pain to make. So what we'll do is we'll stick one here, lock, nope, we won't lock it. Nope, we won't do that either. Why is that coming in like that? That's very odd. Okay. Yeah. We need to lock this first, that's fine. And then we can add it. Okie dokie. And now we just need to tell this to send everything but a st no, everything, not everything, but a Stellar Returner. Okay, this kind of makes sense to me. I hope this makes sense to everyone else. Uh, right, yeah, there we go. Eternal Stellar, and I did not bing this on the thing, did I? There we go. Right, yeah, now we just gotta leave that and it will make us some Eternal Stellars and they will get stuck in here. So we, oh, you know what I could do? That's gonna make us a lot right there. I really should just make a bunch of these, these uh, Stellarite Bees. 
Okay, I did go and make a few, uh, just manually for now. Why? Oh, because I put mending on these, did I? What about that one? Okay, cool. Um, okay, the ones with mending I need to take off. Yeah. Uh, we found this out. I think somebody told me about this. I can't remember who. Where's my grindstone? So I had a grindstone in here. Oh no, I know where it is. Over here in it. Somewhere. I must have moved it. You know what? Let's make a new one. Rind stone. Oh, no, that's what I did. I put it on a stick. Even better. Yeah, I, uh... What would you... Oh, that's the eternal one. There we go. Someone did mention, because I thought that the, uh, the marids couldn't, couldn't, like, it didn't work for the marids for a long time, but then someone was like, have you tried it by removing all of the enchants? And I was like, no, I'll give that a go. And it works, so... Perfect. Anyway, we've got all of the eternal chalks now. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, and now we're basically just on to making the marids. So, uh, Stella, I've got two. Oh, they don't stack, do they? Oop. Right. So I can do two of these at least. So, uh, at Forbidden, we've got these smithing templates. Take that one in. Why can you not work now? Do they seriously not work anymore? That might have been patched. Oh my goodness. Right, I've got to check this out because right in here. Are these done? No, these are eternal. I'm so confused. Can you not make these eternal anymore? Am I doing this wrong? Wait, that is the question. It says that you can't. What about this thing? Does it say in here anywhere? You get a loot chest from that. Interesting. There's 200 things in here. One of the, these things must be. Oh my goodness. Okay, all the stuff from Greg. That's actually quite useful. We do need to do this with a bunch of stuff from Greg at some point. Because I already did it with like every single tool, but for some reason they've disappeared. I think there was a bug at one point. Oh, you're kidding me. So... If I'd have done this, like, when I said I was going to do it, and uh, that was a few days ago before we updated, we would have been fine. But now you can't do this. Oh, well, at least you guys know. I just wasted all of that time doing that. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, warp stones now have a durability. I did not realize that. Voidscape stuff. Interesting. Right, anyway. Um, that's a big shame. I don't know what to do about that. Let's give it one more go. Stick that in there, stick that in there. Let's just make sure it's not something weird. Yeah, that's fine. We can't do that one. That one's fine. Okay. Odd. All right. That's a shame. All right. I've had some time to process the fact that we just wasted all that time. Um, and you know what? It's okay. Live and learn, right? At least we got the bee. The bee is actually quite interesting. I, I wonder if uh, the bee is like the first thing you should try and set up. Obviously, once you've got a little bit of resources, but it's got a few bee things set up. But yeah, I wonder if this is one of the first things that you try try and get for the ATM star. Stellarite bee. Because it, there's always the chance that you get Stellarite. Or... What are they called? St Eternal Stellars? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother put, putting these down. If you can't make them, like, infinite, there's not really any reason to use them. Whereas we've already got... Nope, that's not the one. This one. We've got four. <laughs> so these four are going to be uh, doing their thing. And I can just spam that. I'll have to help it a little bit. This is how we're getting barriers. That makes sense. Okay, uh, maybe maybe this is not going to work as I'd like. Oh dear. Okay, I've got quite a bit of ores now. I should probably set up some ore processing. I do know for some Greg Tech stuff that I'm going to have to get into soon. 
uh, which, by the way, it will probably be next episode. So apologies to all of those that don't like Greg Tech. I really want to get the Greg Star. I've decided we're going to go for it. Um, and I believe, did they did they tweak it a little bit? And they gave it... Ah, you need it for the Micro Universe Orb. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. Yeah. Micro Universe Catalyst, and then you get a bunch of these stuff, and then you get like some Naquadar, and... Micro Universe Drill Ship. It's just used like this. It's so cool. We should um, we should definitely look at that at some point. Uh, the Micro Universe itself... We'll do this, and then we have a look. Micro Universe Orb. Can you see it? Or is it going to crash? Nope. Look at this bad boy. Oh, it's lagging because it's so big, but it's huge. I know Mr. T has... I'm not sure if he's made this or if he's like, you know, um, just put it together at least. Like gone into cheat mode and put it together. But he was showing off some of... Oh, you can zoom in and out. I did not realize you could do that. Okay. It's because it's super laggy. So I've never, never seen that before. But yeah, you can make uh, you can make the micro universe orb now, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's the thing. I think I, I I put a picture of it when we were first doing Greg back in like episode, you know, in the thirties of my episodes. And uh, yeah, it's finally in. It looks so cool. We we might not get to that. I think I might give myself the benefit of the doubt and say, okay, what is this used for? Chemical tank infinite. No. Polonium and plutonium. Oh, 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 okay. Never mind. I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what? We could probably we could probably set these up. That's Is that the only thing we need the Greg Star for other than this? Yeah, I think we're just going to make the single Greg Star. Liquid europium and then all of this. I've got all of the antimatter pellets, I think. Antimatter pellets. Yeah, I got like a bunch of them a while back. So, yeah. Right. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.